Welcome to your Gold Market Update for today, the 17th of November 2022. Mike Smith and Analyst of Markets here. Let's have a look at what's happening in the markets right now. US equities were weaker overnight on comments from some of the Fed members suggesting that perhaps Fed policy may not change as, as much as the market may like on the back of last week's softer inflation numbers. We did have hot retail sales, which played into that narrative a little bit, but we also had mixed earnings guidance from retail stocks, generally speaking. We've seen positive response from some of the big players, but Walmart uh, have thrown a little spanner in the works, giving some negative earnings guidance. We also got some chatter about the recent extent of the equity run-up, so perhaps markets need some more information before we push higher again. We are beneath key levels on the S&P 500, around 4,000, and the NASDAQ, around 12,000. US futures are slightly higher in Asia. And if we look at what the Asian indices are doing, uh, despite that weaker US lead, we are seeing the ASX up 0.14%. Uh, the Nikkei is slightly down. European equity futures are suggesting a lower open also. The US dollar index didn't really move much on that equity weakness, but did hold support at three month lows. And gold pause as a result of that failure to rise, but really that pause in the USD. Uh, but it's still through the 200 EMA and looking good around 1770 for right now. Oil and copper both retraced slightly. And also surprising, the VIX didn't rise on that equity weakness. It's still below 25 and at the lowest levels since early September. Bitcoin also, after really what has been a catastrophic couple of weeks in cryptos, is trading around about 16600, which is where it was yesterday. If we look at a chart, it's looking quite triangular, which suggests market uncertainty about what may happen next. On the data front, we saw some soft PPI numbers out of New Zealand, which was good. Uh, consequently, we saw the Kiwi drop a little. Australian jobs also were out and have come in slightly better than expected, which possibly gives a green light to the RBA to be uh, quite aggressive with their next interest rate meeting. Later on, we've got Eurozone, CPI, US weekly jobs, manufacturing and housing data. All due and all likely to play on market sentiment going forward. A couple of charts that caught our eye this morning. Uh, with the ASX, we are noting Webjet to give an investor presentation. And we've seen subsequently a significant jump higher in this stock, up around 7% for the day. And has taken us back up to this really critical six dollar level you can see how 611 has been resistance uh, back in june back in april back in february and so really we are at a key level for webjet if we just take this chart out a little more again you can see how important this level is should we get a break through this then possibly a retest ultimately around that sort of 680 690 level looks as though it could be on the cards and that is around about 12 percent to the upside Suggest it might take some time to get there, but nevertheless, we do have a distinct change in sentiment. The FX market is pretty flat across the board, but we are watching the Euro Yen. Here is the 30 minute chart. And we note on the 30 minute chart, this interesting level about 145.25. If it should move up back through here, then we could see it pause around about 185.83, but ultimately possibly up towards 146. Uh, so potential for that, but you're gonna to have to be patient. It may take that Eurozone inflation number to push it up to that level. On the downside, this also looks interesting potentially if we breach this 144.60 level, uh, we could see a drop perhaps down to 144. Uh, giving an opportunity. So either way, uh, the euro yen looks like a good pair to keep an eye on through the course of the day and into this afternoon. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.